Every once in a while, you guys send us a message or say in consultation, Ugh, Axel, every time I use my credit card from my home country here in Germany, I have to pay high fees. Or even, Axel, no shop in Germany accepts my foreign credit card. Why is that? And how can you avoid paying fees with your credit card when swiping here in Germany? Today, I'll show you the best free credit cards in Germany. Why free, you might ask? Well, all free credit cards still might have some hidden fees that you have to pay even though you think your credit card is for free. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know in order to find the best credit card in Germany in this week's video. Perfinex. Personal Finance for Expats. What's up everyone? Welcome to a new video from Perfinex, the number one English speaking and independent financial planner in Germany. My name is Axel and today I'll show you a tool that will help you find the best credit card in Germany. Wait a second, the best credit card? You tell us always there is no universally best product. That's right, and nothing's gonna change about that. And nothing ever will. Still, Today I have the perfect solution for you if you're looking for a credit card here in Germany without pitching you a certain credit card. How is that even possible? Here's how. Meet our best credit card in Germany calculator on our website perfinex.de. Pretty cool, right? I mean, I absolutely love my credit card. These little cards are super convenient. I use it everywhere. Online, offline, with Apple Pay, where it's possible of course. Because sometimes even I hear We don't accept credit cards here. That's the one good thing that came out of the pandemic actually. More and more shops accept cashless payment with credit cards now. Which you guys probably wondered anyway why such a modern country like Germany uses cash so much. But now it's the new age and the perfect time to get a credit card if you haven't already. Or get a better one that suits more your needs. So you can Hi Swipe Thank you Bye Alright, go with me to our website perfinex.de so I can explain how the calculator for the best credit card in Germany works. Links in the description by the way. And we brought some bonuses for you guys as well, if you get your credit card by clicking the green buttons. You're welcome. First of all, because you guys are expats from all over the world, you might want to go back to your home country every once in a while, when this craziness in the world is over. That's why we split the amount of money you plan to purchase with your new credit card inside Europe and outside Europe. Depending on what you type in there, you might get different results as all credit cards can have a different fee structure. As of preparing this video, no matter what numbers I typed in, all credit cards were free. Attention though, the credit card itself was free we might come to some hidden fees later. Give me just 30 seconds before we continue with the video. I'm currently planning my PhD that will revolutionize the German public pension for you experts. You pay in almost 20% of your salary, but get out very little. We want to change this so you can have a secure retirement. Please take 10 to 15 minutes and answer the easy questions in our survey. The more of you participate, the more we can pressure the German government to change our public pension system for the better. Links in the description. Thank you very much. Now back to the video. The next criteria you can choose in our calculator is a credit card company. The free options are usually Visa or Mastercard. The two biggest credit card providers in Europe, at least. And it virtually makes no difference which credit card company you choose for the free option. It does make a difference through which bank you choose to have your credit card with. Mainly a difference in the hidden fees again. More about that when I finish explaining the calculator. Now we come to a really really cool feature because now you can choose some additional features for your credit card. Every credit card has the convenient Hi Swipe Thank you Bye Feature. Additionally, you can select to have gold and platinum credit cards. Gold and platinum credit cards might cost a little in fees, you probably guessed it already, and in return you might get some cool and maybe some not so cool features. Wow! The first symbol means that you automatically participate in some form of bonus system when you pay with your credit card. You might get some flyer miles or cashback or whatever. I personally participated in a cashback campaign last year and it was pretty cool to be honest. That was a campaign from my bank though and not from my credit card. But still, pretty cool. 
If you're also looking to switch banks and maybe get some bonuses there too, check also the best bank account in Germany calculator on our website. Link is in the description. And second symbol means that the credit card is offering some insurances. Travel health insurance, insurance when your trip gets cancelled, can be pretty useful right now, legal expense insurance and maybe a lot more. While these insurances can be pretty nice, keep the fees in mind. It is definitely not worth it to pay 660 euro per year just to have a legal expense insurance included with your credit card. If you want a legal expense insurance, you can get this one a lot cheaper than 660 euro per year. By the way, if you're looking to optimize your insurances, hit us up. There's almost certainly something to improve. Lower prices, better coverage. Book a free meeting and let's find out together how we can improve your financial situation. Third symbol are straightforward rebates you're gonna get at gas stations, hotels, for flights, for rental cars, all kinds of things. And the last symbol are other services. For example, if you can withdraw cash from ATMs all over the world with your credit card or just in Europe. Remember, for all these additional benefits, to keep the fees in mind. If you find them useful and actually use them, your credit card will basically pay for itself. And that's the goal for our credit card calculator. Maximize the benefits on money that you would be spending anyway. Credit cards can give rewards, cash cannot. And that's why I love this credit card calculator so much. You type in your requirements and see which credit card in Germany fits you the best. It's almost like online dating, huh? Let's see if a credit card matches you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the hidden fees I was talking about. The online calculator shows you the official fees for the credit card companies and the banks there, which is zero for a lot of them. On top of that, there can be three types of hidden fees or charges for your credit card the calculator cannot show you. You have to check this once you're at the credit card provider homepage directly. And here's what you should look for. If the last symbol is grey and not black, you might have to pay fees when withdrawing money from your credit card from ATMs outside of Europe. Check your bank or credit card provider for withdrawal fees, Abhebegebühr in German. Second hidden fee is also when you're outside of Europe and pay with your credit card in another currency than Euro. You might have to pay a percentage of your payment amount or withdrawal amount, 1.75% for example, or a fixed fee. We call this Fremdwährungsgebühr in German. If you have the option for those two kinds of fees to pay either in local currency or in foreign currency, always, always, always choose local currency. Why? With local currency, you will pay the fees of your credit card. With foreign currency, you pay the fees for the ATM and probably a bad exchange rate. Thank me later. And the last hidden fee will bring us also to the last option to choose in our best credit card in Germany calculator interest rate. If you don't pay the full credit each month, you will have to pay some pretty significant interest charges with credit cards. So definitely pay your credit card off in full each month. And to help you there, let's talk about the last option to choose in our calculator. Here you can choose the payment type of your credit card. All payment types are chosen on default. You can also switch to debit. Meaning, whatever you pay with your credit card is immediately deducted from your attached bank account. So it's actually not a real credit card, it's a debit card. Real credit cards start with option 2, the charge credit card. In this payment option, your credit card provider will sum up all your purchases throughout the month and charge you at the end of the month for the total amount. So you basically get an interest-free credit for up to one month. Third option is the revolving credit card. In this case, only a part of the total credit sum will be paid to the credit card provider each month. On the remaining amount, you have to pay a hefty interest rate. So it's best to avoid this option if you can. The last two options are for people who actually cannot get the prior types of credit cards anymore. I'll tell you in a minute why that might be the case. But before, the last two credit card types are prepaid. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory, right? You transfer some money to the card and then you can use it like a real credit card. Why would anybody do that? Maybe because you have a bad Shufa score, so all your applications for a credit card get denied. Shufa is the German credit protection agency by the way. 
So if you want a credit card and get denied, check this video and get your free Shufa score. See if that's a problem. If it is, utilize these 10 Shufa tips and increase your Shufa score back to a decent level. And definitely avoid the Shufa mistakes in this video. And I'm pretty sure one of you Hawkeyes watching found the perfect opportunity already to do a big Shufa mistake. What do I mean by that? Check out the American Express Business Gold Card. Costs you 140 euro per year and gives you a 200 euro bonus. I will game the system, get this credit card, pay 140 euro, get 200 euro bonus, 60 euros for me. I'm the smartest person in the world. <laughs> you know, in German we have a saying, he who laughs last, laughs best. And this free money from opening credit cards is the perfect example for that. 60 euros just for filling out an application for a credit card is nice. I get it. But gaming the system always leads to short term benefits, but long term you shoot yourself in the foot. When you have too many credit cards, you will hurt your Shufa score significantly. Cancel at least the ones that you don't use anymore. We're not in the US where you can max out on five different credit cards and then open another one. You will f up your financial credibility here in Germany very, very quickly. And this is just one quick money mistake. We can help you to avoid a lot more money mistakes. Just subscribe to the channel and reach out on WhatsApp if you have a personal question. Or book a free meeting right here and we help you improve your financial future. Happy weekend and stay healthy everybody.